We're asked to find the distance from the point A to the line joining points B and C. We're looking at the notes below, the distance between a point Q, not on the line, and a line in space with direction vector V and point P, a point on the line, is given by D equals the magnitude of vector PQ cross with vector V divided by the magnitude of vector V. Let's adjust the given information to match the formula. Where point Q is the point not on the line, from the given information that is point A, so let's go ahead and let point Q for the formula be six comma three comma negative three. And then point P is the point on the line. In our information, point B and point C are on the line. We can either use point C or point B for point P. Let's use point C for point P since it has an x-coordinate of zero. So point P is zero comma negative one comma four. And we also need the direction vector V. The direction vector V since point B and point C are on the line, would be vector BC, which in component form would have an X component of zero minus negative one, a Y component of negative one minus negative three, and a Z component of four minus one. Simplifying, the direction vector, vector V, has an X component of one, a Y component of two, mm -hmm. and a Z component of three. Now looking at our formula, we have vector V. We still have to find vector PQ, where point P is a point on the line, and point Q is a point not on the line. So we already have point P and point Q. Let's go ahead and find vector PQ in component form. The S component is equal to six minus zero, which is six. The Y component is equal to three minus negative one, which is three plus one or four and the z component is equal to negative three minus four, which is negative seven. And now to find the distance, we need to cross vector PQ with vector V, find the magnitude, and then divide by the magnitude of vector V. So let's work on determining the cross product of vector PQ and vector V. To find the cross product, we'll evaluate the determinant, where row one is I, J, and K. The second row, the components of vector PQ. And the third row, the components from vector V. And now we'll go ahead and evaluate this determinant using expansion by minors. So you first have a two by two determinant formed by eliminating row one and column one, which give us the elements four, negative seven, two, three times vector i, and then minus the two by two determinant formed by eliminating row one and column two, which gives us six, negative seven, one, three, times the unit vector j, and then plus the two by two determinant formed by eliminating row one and column three, which give us the elements six, four, one, two times unit vector k. Evaluating the two by two determinants, we have 12 minus negative 14, which is equal to 12 plus 14 or 26, giving us 26 i, and then minus 18 minus negative seven is equal to 18 plus positive seven or 25, giving us minus 25 j, and then plus 12 minus four is eight, giving us plus eight k. In component form, the s component is 26, the y component is negative 25, and the z component is positive eight. Let's continue on the next slide. Now we have vector pq cross with vector v, and we know vector v. Now we need to find the magnitude of the cross product and the magnitude of vector v, and then find the quotient. So the distance is equal to the square root of 26 squared plus the square of negative 25 plus the square of eight. I'll divide it by the square root of one squared plus two squared plus three squared. This is equal to the square root of 1,365 
divided by the square root of 14, going to the calculator, to four decimal places we have 9.8742, which is the distance from point A to the line containing points B and C. Let's take a look at this in space. Points B and C, the two points on the line of the black points passing through the purple line. The point not on the line is this blue point. The distance between this blue point and the purple line is approximately 9.8742 units. I hope you found this helpful.